Pescarolo Sport, a French racing team running mostly in the 24 hours of Le Mans. This racing team wasn't as famous as a huge brand like Audi, but competitively kept up with them, and at times this small brand even beat these big manufacturers such as Audi. This small team competed in the European Le Mans series, and even succeeded at winning multiple different races, and their biggest achievement has been racing in one of the most challenging races of them all, the 24 Hours of the Mall. So this is the history of Pescarolo Sport. Every company has a founder. In this case, that's Henry Pescarolo. Even before co-founding Pescarolo Sport, Henry Pescarolo was a driver as well. The French racing driver achieved huge results in motorsports. He participated in 64 F1 Grand Prix, even picking up a podium at the 1970 Monaco Grand Prix. He also won the 24 Hours of Daytona in 1991, driving the famous Porsche 962C. But his biggest achievement has been winning the 24 Hours of Le Mans, which he won a record four times. After racing at Le Mans 33 times, Henry decided that he wanted his own team and wanted them to race at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. So in 2000, Henry Pescarolo co-founded Pescarolo Sport. The Pescarolo team would be based in the town of Le Mans, where the famous Circuit de la Sarthe is. Pescarolo will be using the Courage C52 chassis and would use turbocharged Peugeot engines for their first outing at Le Mans. The 2024 hour of Le Mans would only see Audi and Panos stay from the all-conquering 1999 field. Audi would take the top three spots on the podium. However, Pescarolo's number 16 car would finish in fourth overall, finishing ahead of Panos and Cadillac. After a great year in 2000 at Le Mans, Pescarolo expanded into 2001 entering in another car into Le Mans. The French team would also be using the Courage C60 chassis. Unfortunately, the 2001 Le Mans race went horribly for Pescarolo, as one of their cars retired and the other finished outside the top 10. However, there was a massive high point that year, as Pescarolo achieved their first victory in the European Le Mans series at the Estoril circuit. Results for the 2002 and 2003 Le Mans races were not great. Meanwhile, Pescarolo was also struggling financially. In 2004, Pescarolo got investment from Sony with promotions on the car featuring the PS2 branding and the brand new Gran Turismo 4 game. Pescarolo would also find new engine suppliers, as they would use Judd V10s from then onward. And more good news followed, as Bentley and Cadillac had pulled out of Le Mans after 2003, so Pescarolo's main competition was with Audi only. For that year's Le Mans race, Pescarolo's number 18 car finished fourth overall, equaling their best result at Le Mans. 2005 was an incredible year for Pescarolo. First off, they were able to win their first championship in the European Le Mans series, and the results continued into the 24 hours of Le Mans. It was a clear fight between Audi and Pescarolo for the win at Le Mans, and to the surprise of many, Pescarolo seemed quicker. Pescarolo qualified on pole position with a number 16 car, and the sister car would line up in second. In the race, Audi eventually beat Pescarolo, but the French mark would finish second, making it up onto the podium for the first time at the 24-hour event, and they would finish only two laps behind Audi. This, in my opinion, was the closest that Pescarolo got to winning Le Mans. Pescarolo Sport continued to be competitive into 2006. Pescarolo won all five races in the Le Mans series, easily taking the title. At the 24 hour of Le Mans, Pescarolo continued to perform well. However, Audi would bring a new car, the diesel Audi R10 TDI, 
which would outperform the gas-powered Pescarolos. Audi took their sixth victory at the Circuit de la Sarthe, but Pescarolo were able to repeat their success from 2005, finishing second again, beating the number seven Audi in 2006. A big change came for Pescarolo Sport in 2007, as Henry Pescarolo created Pescarolo Automobiles, with the racing division becoming part of the company. Another big change came, as Pescarolo would build their own chassis, their first would be the Pescarolo 01. Pescarolo Sport would also supply their chassis to customer teams in the LMP1 and LMP2 class. There was also a change in the top category at Le Mans, as Peugeot would make the return to the famous French race. Despite Audi and Peugeot using diesel-powered cars, Pescarolo was able to get up onto the podium, even though they were technically the third fastest team in the LMP1 class. Pescarolo would finish third at Le Mans, and their customer entry would finish just behind in fourth. In 2009, Pescarolo announced that they would run a Peugeot 908, labeled as the number 17 car. Alongside the 908, the team would run a Pescarolo 01, which would be the number 16 car. The number 17 kept up with the Audis and Peugeots, but unfortunately, retired from crashing out later in the race. The number 16 Pescarolo 01 would finish 8th overall. In my opinion, after 2009, the results went downhill for Pescarolo, as Audi and Peugeot became increasingly more competitive and more teams began to creep into the LMP1 class, like Aston Martin and later Toyota. Ownership of Pescarolo Sport was handed to the Sora Composites Group in late 2008, but in 2011, the team was sold back to Henry Pescarolo, which meant the Pescarolo name would return to the 24 Hours of Le Mans the following year in 2012. Now under ownership from Henry Pescarolo once again, Pescarolo would enter the new WEC and would make the return to the 24 Hours of Le Mans under the Pescarolo name. There would also be a new car for 2012, the Pescarolo 03. Although the Pescarolo 03 was late to the game, so the old Pescarolo 01 raced the beginning of the WEC season, and even got a podium in the LMP1 class in Sebring. The Pescarolo 03 raced the 2012-24 hour of Le Mans in the LMP1 class, but unfortunately it retired early on in the race due to mechanical difficulties. Alongside the 03, Pescarolo also ran the Japanese Dome car, but unfortunately it didn't make the end of the race either. Financial issues came back for Pescarolo Sport, and with that, they would not appear at Le Mans after 2012, and since then, the Pescarolo name has sort of disappeared. During their time in motorsport, Pescarolo Sport achieved many different things. For a small team like this, it's quite surprising and impressive to see that they were able to compete against big manufacturers like Audi and Peugeot. And at times, this French manufacturer competed at similar pace to the main manufacturers, like grabbing pole position at Le Mans in 2005. So what was your favorite moment from the history of Pescarolo Sport? Was it grabbing a podium at the 24 hours of Le Mans, or locking out the front row in 2005? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see more historical videos like this, please make sure to subscribe to the left of your screen, and if you want to see another video, click one of the suggested videos to the right. So, that's it for me. I'll see you all in the next one.